Alright, so some of you guys didn't bat an eye when I blew up 10,000 TNT in this game of Minecraft. So today, we're, we're up in the numbers. We are going to go to 50,000. But before we do that, I want to test the limits going from low to high. So here in front of me, I have pretty simple, just 15 pieces of TNT. I've got a flint and steel in my hand, and let's test it out. Shouldn't be too severe. So, as you guys can see, a pretty decently sized hole for 15 pieces of TNT, but I don't think that's impressive enough, so let's up it just a little bit more. So now in front of me we have 100 pieces, so unlike 15, that's a pretty high number, but it's definitely not the highest we're going to go today. So, here we have a piece of flint and steel in our hand, 3, 2, 1, go. 100 pieces. So that is about the size with the other hole made, but we're nowhere near done. So obviously a much bigger hole than the 15, but I still feel like it wouldn't be a good video without going even higher. The amount of TNT that I'm about to do in one single flat world, so I'm op I have to literally open up an infinite world just so I can do this next amount that I'm about to do. So loading into the new one, it literally said on the flat world that I couldn't place blocks outside of the world. So I had to open up an infinite world, which isn't as pretty looking, but we're going to have to do. I don't think that you guys can actually put that much TNT in a straight line which is kind of my mistake that I made when I tried this like a couple seconds ago. I was putting it from like a certain coordinate and then like 100 blocks in a straight line, and I think that's why it wasn't working. So my next strategy is going to be putting it in a giant square, and you'll see what I mean right now. All right, guys, a little bit bigger of a jump here. In front of me now, I have 10, over 10,000 blocks of TNT. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to go ahead and open up chat. And you can see down here it says 10,201 blocks filled. So I'm going to go ahead and take my piece of flint and steel, go ahead and light it, and just kind of see what happens. Okay, I'm definitely losing a lot of FPS right now. I know this might be hard to watch, but just kind of... Keep focusing on the explosions. Alright, so it looks like if you're in a certain, like, small range next to the uh, TNT exploding, you're just going to completely, like, drop FPS. As you guys can see here, barely any of it is, is has exploded. Or maybe, maybe, like, half of it has exploded. And my audio's cutting out, my frames are really low, everything's just going crazy. But pretty soon here, everything's just going to clear up, and we're going to be able to see a perfect... You know, a perfect, like, just giant hole in the ground. And it's been like, oh, okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, that is a huge, that is a ginormous hole that we just made in the ground. But I still feel like if I wanted to present you 10,000 pieces of TNT exploding, then you could just go watch my other video. So this isn't much of, of an improvement, and the game still hasn't crashed. So... The next thing we do is to teleport somewhere else with TNT. Alright, so I think the max amount of TNT you can put is 10,201 exactly. So what I'm going to do is stack this up on itself four more times so it'll make a grand total of 50,000 pieces of TNT. So before I do this, I please ask you guys to like the video because this is taking a lot of trial and error. It's been a while since I started recording this, so if you guys could just go ahead, maybe leave a like on the video, just kind of throwing that out there if you would like to, that'd be great. Okay, so this is definitely going to work. As you guys can see, I'm probably not going to add this part either, but that is another section of 10,201. So now we currently have over 20,000 pieces of TNT, but I still don't feel like that's enough, so I'm going to catch you guys back when we are at 50,000. 
All right, guys, this is not clickbait. We are at 50,000 pieces of TNT. And I was gonna go the extra mile and put down 100,000 TNT, but if you guys wanna see me explode 100,000 TNT, not clickbait, then make sure you guys go down in the comments and tell me that you wanna see 100,000 TNT. And I will bring you guys a part three to this explosion series, and I will blow up 10,000, or I will blow up 100,000 TNT. So. 50,000 TNT on the map. Let's explode it. This is going to go completely slow. Oh my god. You can't even see it exploding. It literally freezes up. Everything is literally freezing. Because there's so many exploding. That is five times the amount we've seen. On the first explosion. My FPS is dropping a ton. But you can literally see the game is going so slow right now. That like it literally can't keep up with this much TNT exploding. I mean it kind of is if you think about it. But the game is running quite, quite slow right now. There is tons of TNT still flying through the air. Everything is just completely freezing, and we still only have a tiny chunk of it gone. Um, this is going to take a long time. As you guys can see, this is a huge hole, and we've only exploded so little. And if you think about it, most of this TNT isn't even landing in that little crater. It's going elsewhere. So you guys can see so many of these small holes like around it exploding, and there's going to be like thousands of those around the map. I literally feel like if you could destroy bedrock, this whole map would go down right now. Like, the entire map would just not be here anymore. Like, if you could destroy bedrock like this, the entire map would just explode. And I would be floating in the middle of nowhere. But so far, everything's just going the same. It's just there's so much more TNT this time around. Like, you gotta think, this is literally 50,000 pieces of TNT. And... We've barely done any of it so far. I'm losing audio. Like, everything's just getting completely silent. And we still have all the rest. Oh, look. I got out of... If you get out of its way... I know this probably isn't as entertaining. But you get your... Like, I got my FPS back. Like, everything's running smoothly. And look. Here's a TNT I was just sitting. Like, everything in the game is still running slow. But you can see the TNT, like, building up to this point. So, you can tell that there's not much left. And I'm going to just move back into it real quick. Did it stop exploding? Oh, no, it didn't. It's still going. I can't even tell what's going on. There is so much going on right now. There's, like, no audio. I'm. If there was an FPS counter, I'm probably at, like, 3 right now. Like, everything is just going so heavy right now. As you guys can see, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm moving the mouse a bunch and just nothing's happening. So I'm probably just going to sit here and stop moving so we can get a good look at it. If my character can even turn around, I will go ahead and look at it. Honestly, I think I have pushed it too far this time. Like, sometimes I'll literally click on Start World and the game will just crash. So, to see that so much of this TNT has exploded and nothing's crashed, that's honestly impressive to me. Another thing while we're sitting here and just casually watching all this TNT explode, I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what you thought of my most recent video where I cooked up the Christmas cookies. I honestly enjoyed it, and many others enjoyed it as well, but I want to know your guys' opinion on that video if you guys want me to expand on, you know that cooking stuff I have actually another cooking video saved into my phone and if you guys want me to just upload that one I will um, I have many other things I can cook in the future I don't want to turn this into like a, just a cooking channel but I do have so much that I could offer so for those of you watching for cooking videos I will do more of it but so far we're just doing this Minecraft video like I'm almost speechless like Half the things I'm saying is just taken away by how much TNT is exploding. And the game is still running. I mean, it's obviously not running at its finest performance, but so far, the game has been running quite normally. Like, I mean, this isn't exactly normal, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, everything's still running, and it hasn't crashed or closed, and 
Like, I'm, I'm still moving at low FPS, but I, at least I am still moving. Like, there is still so much to explode, and we've been sitting here for, like, five minutes already, just watching all this TNT explode. If I had to guess, there's only been, like, 20,000 that have exploded. Like, there's probably still a good more than half of it to go. So, I might cut it just to the end results, but, you know... If you guys, again, want to see more TNT explode, you guys can go back and see my 10,000 video. Or you go ahead, and if I get enough likes and comments on this video, then I'll explode 100,000 TNT. And for those of you that think it's clickbait, well, now you know it's not. I kind of want to see how much of this TNT has actually gone out of the main, bro the main like, box and what it, has, what it has done so far. So I'm going to, again, try to get out of all this stuff so I can get smoother fps because i know a lot of you guys watching this probably don't want to see it at like 2 fps so i'm getting out of it i'm just, I, I can tell i'm getting further away but i feel like most of the tnt is exploding my way so it's going to be really hard to get away from all this and i've lost audio this kind of scares me because every time you lose audio it means your game's crashing but i'm pretty sure minecraft is not going to crash i mean i could be wrong you know famous last words the game's not going to crash but so far it hasn't, and we've been going on for quite a while now, so I believe if it was going to crash, it probably would have already. It's funny how you can just, like, all the TNT sounds go away, and you can just hear the peaceful, like, Minecraft music in the background, and you're just looking at the entire world just get destroyed piece by piece. But it looks like we're um, reaching the end of this, I, if I could turn back around and look at it. Um, I'm probably guessing that all this TNT in front of me is gone, it just hasn't loaded in yet. Because that's kind of how it does. Like you, you literally see all this stuff flying in at me. But it's already exploded. And I feel like every time I move. Like TNT is literally just going in every direction. So I'm not going to be able to move out of its way. Which is why I'm, cur I'm currently going to. You know. Fly ahead of myself. That maybe. That way all the TNT is going the opposite direction. And I'll try and see if my FPS smooths out then. But so far. We must be on like 2 FPS. Or maybe one, I'm not sure. If I had to guess, it's probably one FPS, but it's still not over yet, and I want to get a good, clear shot of this before it's over, so I'm going to start moving in front of me, maybe away from all the commotion, so I can get a better view of it. Oh my god. I was literally just sitting there in silence, waiting for the game to, like smoothing out but literally the game crashed as i was sitting there saying all that stuff about it not crashing it literally did crash and hopefully the gameplay saved or i'm really gonna have to scrap what i just did okay good the video clip saved it just says that at the top of the screen well there's your answer i can title this video how much tnt will crash the game at first i was just gonna title the title of the video 50,000 tnt against minecraft or whatever just a kind of a sequel of what the last one was titled, but instead we ended up crashing the game. So, there's your answer. 50,000 TNT is enough to crash the game. We've seen that 10,000 wasn't 15, 100, however many of those you try, doesn't crash the game. But when you step it up to 50,000 pieces of TNT, well there's your answer. Minecraft will crash at 50,000 TNT. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys want me to step it up to 100,000 TNT and see what that does, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Just comment 100,000 and I will do it. So thank you guys for staying tuned to this video. If you want to see more, go ahead and check out my channel page. I upload variety content almost weekly, you can say. So I appreciate you all for staying in for this episode of Minecraft. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.